Greetings all. Today we're taking a look at uh, some more of the defaults and uh, preferences, specifically when it comes to uh, the mouse behavior and uh, keyboard shortcuts. And this is a tricky one because there is no uh, definite answer to um, how you want it set up. It really is an individual thing. And for uh, this video I've just imported uh, a few uh, drum tracks. What we're looking for now is the mouse modifiers. And here you have a million options. There's media item, envelopes, automation, track, and so on. For years I've been working in Samplitude Pro from uh, Magix. What I've gotten used to there is the universal mouse mode, where you split every uh, object or media item in half, and you have a separate uh, things uh, that you can do with the mouse on the upper and lower half of the item. So there's a couple of things that I've uh, changed here. First one is uh, using the top half for uh, time selection. You can already do that up in the ruler here, but um, I prefer doing it on the item. Also, there's a shift left drag, and this is where I can uh, do the marquee select and time selection both at once. Say if I want to uh, copy a section from multiple uh, tracks, that's very handy. By default, this is set up uh, to be a right-click uh, thing, but uh, that's something I don't really like. I much prefer it to have it on the left uh, mouse button. And just to uh, demonstrate here, select the item first. There's your time selection. And if we go down to um, the bottom half, we can then move it. We can copy a selected area of items and paste that one in there. So easy to, uh, to copy and paste without having to uh, split. Also in the lower half here, I've set it to move items. And we also have the marquee selection, shift, left drag. That's how I like it. But of course, uh, you may uh, want to uh, do uh, different things. As already mentioned, there's no way that's 100% right for everyone. And uh, that's the cool thing with Reaper, in that it's uh, incredibly uh, customizable. The drawback to it is uh, when you come over from another DAW like I have, it takes a lot of uh, time to set it up exactly how you want it. But once that's done, you've got a great piece of uh, software to work with. Now, some of the mouse features are uh, found in the uh, actions list. So we're going to take a look at that now. It's especially zooming and uh, scrolling. First, let's uh, sort out the scroll and zoom functions with the mouse. For some weird reason, the default on the mouse wheel is um, zooming in horizontally, which is just weird. What I wanted to do is scroll vertically. So let's uh, find that one in the action list. Now that one's uh, right, we can uh, scroll up and down with the mouse wheel. And that's what I'm used to in every other uh, software uh, that I use. Now for zooming, what I've been used to for a while now is using shift and the mouse wheel to zoom horizontally. Delete the old shortcut there. Click add. Shift, mouse wheel. And that's much better. 
Another one I want to change is the size of the waveform view or increase peaks view gain. It's a very odd way of uh, naming it, but uh, okay. I'm used to, uh, from uh, Samplitude, to use uh, the control and arrows. So that's what I'm going to change. And the same thing for down. Decrease peaks view gain. Control, down. And this is what you want to do for uh, all of the keyboard shortcuts uh, that you're used to from other softwares. Just go through them and uh, adjust them to your liking. And again, there's no uh, right answer for this. It really is about uh, what you're comfortable with. We've now got a lot of the basic uh, setup things uh, sorted. I'll show you one more thing that I like to do. And that is uh, filling out uh, as much as I can on the toolbar up top here. Before you start, just open the toolbar you want. And then position it at top of main window. And then customize. One thing I can add now is uh, grid length um, values. Yeah, grid set to 1 eighth. And then we can just use a select and close at the bottom there. And you can then move it up uh, to where you want it. Here you have the corresponding image. If you want to use a different image for it, just right click, just search for uh, what type of image you want. We have one for the ace there. Just click on that, close that one. And then you can see that's uh, refreshed. Click on save and then uh, close. I like to have a full uh, toolbar there uh, instead of having to use all those uh, menus. Generally, I prefer to use as little of the menus as uh, possible, especially for uh, features that you use uh, often. So hopefully that will help you uh, get the rest of the basic uh, setup done. And I'll be back with some uh, more uh, tips and tricks and uh, stuff like that over the weekend. If you do like this sort of video, please do consider subscribing, like the video, share it. By all means, ask a few uh, questions if you have them. Until next time, have a great weekend.